Good morning, everybody. This is Dylan with Ellis Home and Garden Longview. Hope everyone had a beautiful, great weekend. Um, girl, I did. I went out and did the most. I'll have to tell you all about that a little bit later. Uh, we're going to give everybody a minute to get signed on and get all set. Let me uh, refresh my screen here so I can make sure I can see all of you guys' comments. Let me pull this down just a minute. There my big butt is. Okay. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Not that I need to be any bigger. Okay. There we go. I can see Morgan is watching. Okay, guys. So, hey, Vicki, can you see her comment? Yeah. Okay, guys. We are in shape. So, anybody who's just joining us, guys, go ahead and put your name down below, your name, uh, where you're watching from, any questions or comments that you have during this video, please go ahead and drop those down below because we're going to have a fun time this morning. Um, it's a new week. It's a new day. I sound like Michael Buble, and we are ready to go. So, I also want to thank everybody, before we begin, for joining in last um, Saturday um, in that freaking hailstorm we had for the greenhouse video. It was so freaking cold. Y'all know this Texas weather is crazy. It was so cold that we tried to have a greenhouse video out front with Mark. We ended up having a come in, sit down meeting like Barbara Walters. Um, but it was fun because we answered all of your greenhouse questions and we have, have never had an interaction that big for greenhouse. And that's what we want and that's what I want each time we... Um, plan to do a greenhouse video so guys think of more questions that you have for greenhouse related um whether it's how to grow a plant how to kill a plant how to water a plant um how to uh what you know when to um prune a plant or whatever it is and every saturday we're going to come to you from the greenhouse with mark and we're going to answer all of your questions related to that stuff because we want to help you make your greenhouse or your garden or your flowers thrive um the best that we possibly can um, just like we give you guidance for here um, in the design world, we want to give you guidance in the outside world as well. So we want to again thank you for joining in on Saturday. If you missed that video, guys, we had a ton of questions for the greenhouse. So you can go back and watch that video. If you go to our video tab on our Facebook page at Ellis Home and Garden, and you can check out all of the past uh, content and material from our other videos, and hopefully that will be helpful to you in the future. Okay, guys, so let's see who's watching. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Donna. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Linda. So, guys, I've got a couple things going for you today. I was walking around saying, what can we do today? So, I want to do a little bit more of an elegant saddle. Okay, a cemetery saddle because I've had a lot of requests about more cemetery work because that's something that uh, is inevitable. It's something that, you know, people are always going to have to go through and that we're going to have to do each and every week. Um, you know, it's impossible. So, I'm going to show you how to do an elegant cemetery saddle. But I'm also going to show you how to do an, a quick and easy arrangement that anyone can do. A four-year-old can do this in two seconds. It's very elegant and easy. It's something that can really... You can do it in five seconds if you have a party or you have like an empty space in your office or your desk or your business and you need a pop of color or something that just adds a little bit of elegance with a floral. This is something that's going to work for you. So I'm going to give you two things today in this video. Um, one is really easy and then I'm going to show you how to do the elegant saddle. And I've had a request for a bird cage. So actually on Friday, I've decided Friday is going to be a bird cage day. So for all of you who've been requesting how to do a bird cage, I'm going to show you on Friday. Um, how to do a bird cage. You guys stay tuned for that. And again, through this video, any content or material that you want to see, put your qu request down below as well. I also want to give a shout out to Debbie. She came all the way from Arkansas. She met Dina in the flesh. She saw her in the face and she gave me and her a hug and she came all the way from Arkansas. She's got grandkids here. I met her. I gave her a hug. She was wonderful. I met her husband as well. She came down. She bought supplies. She's very sweet. She watches all of our videos. I loved her. I loved interacting and meeting her. We also met Thomasine. She used to work at the Marshall Ellis Pottery when it very first opened a long time ago and she's one of our viewers and watchers as well. So I want to give a shout out to her. Hey Thomasine and hey Debbie. Thank you so much for joining in and stop again and um, giving us a hug and giving us a shout out because we love interacting and meeting all of you guys. So if any others stop in, make sure you stop us and say hi. Don't be shy because you know Dina and I are not shy as well. Dina might be trying to hide in the corner, but I'm not going to let her, okay? I met your cousin. She's a watcher too. Oh, she met my cousin as well. Who, which one? The oh, one. the one on Saturday. Yeah. You know, I left. Did she ever come back? Yeah, she came back and left her name and phone number. Okay, I saw on the thing. Okay, yes. Hey, Brenda. Brenda said she'd like to see a fairy garden. Well, girl, I'm here, but I don't have a garden. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Belinda. Hey, Heidi. And guys, for any of you wondering about our locations, you can find any of those on our website at ellishomeandgarden.com. You go to the top of the page and click on locations, and you can find any of those locations. Hopefully, one of them is near you. Guys, I've got some stories for you today also, so girls, stay tuned because we've got all that stuff coming as well. Okay? Let's see. Hi, Deborah. Um, hey, Christy Perkins. Hey, Renee. Okay, guys, so we're going to start out with something super easy. This is something that's going to take five minutes at home. It's probably going to take a little longer here because I can't shut up. But 
you know, this is something you can do at home. It's quick and easy. Your four-year-old can do it. It's gonna, it's gonna add a pop of color in your home. It's elegant, it's easy, and you know, if you've got a spot on your bookcase or if you've ever got those artificial books that are sitting you know, on your desk or in your business, this will add that pop of color and that statement that you've always lacked or that you've needed, okay? So if I have anybody who likes orchids that are watching, I'm gonna give you, I want you to give me a thumbs up down below. And if you ever um, have liked orchids but didn't know how to use them, I'm going to be here to show you how to do that today, guys, okay? So we have these wood bowls in. Um, we've had these for a while. I've used them on my tablescapes, and you've probably seen these before on the Facebook post that we've put. I've used them um, in charger plates. You can stack them. You can place them by themselves. They make great statements. They also are good stackable, or they're just good up on the bookcase or on easels. So we're gonna actually put, place our orchid in this today because it's natural. And when I think of orchids, I always think of realistic because when you see orchids growing, you want them to look as realistic and as natural as possible even though we're using artificial stems. Okay, so these are the orchids that we're using today. And again, even though they're artificial, we want them to look as real as possible. Kinda like your weave, okay? You don't wanna put some plastic weave in your hair. Okay, that's trashy. Uh, I was watching the housewives this weekend. You don't want a party to see the wig, okay? You want real. So that's why we're gonna use <coughs> realistic flowers to make it look real. So I have my bowl here, and what I did is I took a piece of styrofoam, guys. I just took a big, it was a big sheet of styrofoam. I'm gonna drop this on my toe in a minute. And um, <laughs> I cut it into a little bitty chunk, okay, just like this, and I shaved it down so it's only about an inch and a half tall because you don't want it too big, okay? Without any podiatrists watching, we're going to a consult in a minute when I drop this down, or a wheelchair. Um, <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> this next video will be sponsored by Hover Round. So anyway, I, pla <laughs> I placed the uh, styrofoam in the bowl, and then I covered it um, with some moss, okay? This is where your, um, you know, I love this intercom, guys, when the, some of the people know I'm doing the video and they get on with that seductive voice and they're like, Kevin, line one. You know, I love that. Anyway, so um, I covered it with the moss, okay? <laughs> so you definitely want to make sure that moss is your best friend. On an orchid arrangement especially, there's not much to it. There's some orchid leaves and orchids most of the time, so you don't want to go overboard, okay? Hey, Jackie. Um, both Jackies are watching. And Lori, Jackie Ballou, I know she is watch uh, she's driving. She told me last week that she was driving. Lori, Saturday went great. Oh my God, y'all, wait till I tell you I did the most. You know you had a good night when you wake up and your ankles are hurting, okay? I had to take 14, 14 ibuprofen. We'll get to that in just a second, okay. So, uh, you wanna make sure you cover your styrofoam and moss because again, in orchid arrangements, um, you, a lot of your styrofoam was showing, but that's, that's supposed to be like that because when you see orchids, um, you know, like in the greenhouse or at the grocery store, like live ones, a lot of the root is showing and that's what we want here because we, we want it to look as natural as possible like it's growing in this bowl, okay? Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Janet and PJ and Shorty. Hey, girl. <clears throat> Christy, it's a wood bowl. Yeah, wood bowl, guys. I'm gonna get, get close so you can see, okay? Don't get a splinter. Okay, so... Um, first thing you want to do is get your orchid leaves, okay guys? Hopefully when you purchase artificial stems of orchids or wherever you purchase them, hopefully you find a place near you, you can purchase the, the orchid leaves as well because it's very rare for you to be able to find orchids without the leaves. Surely, I mean it's kind of like mine amaryllis with no leaves as well. Okay, so let me get those tags off and while I'm doing this I'm going to say hi. Linda, she said one more cup of coffee. Girl, I can't have any more coffee. Y'all know my thing is Dr. Pepper, but I'm trying to start on my diet again today. I haven't told Dia this, but not really a diet. I'm not gonna call it a diet because I won't stick to it, but I'm just gonna try to eat healthier at lunchtime. So today I brought some grilled chicken. I brought some um, rice and some black beans. That's pretty healthy, right? And um, so that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. And I'm gonna have one Dr. Pepper in the mornings and then I'm gonna have water the rest of, <gasps> I'm already gagging, water the rest of the day. Um, so we're gonna try and see how that goes, okay? God help me. <clears throat> hey, Christy and Carolyn and Cindy. Hope everyone's having a wonderful morning. Okay, so we have our orchid leaves here. And again, this is gonna be something inexpensive that everyone can do on a budget, guys, okay? Because I'm not trying to break the bank. I'm trying to do, to make sure I do something here that, you know, sometimes, you know, I do extravagant things, but I always want to make sure I do some things sometimes that anyone that will work with anyone's budget because, honey, I'm not always trying to blow the bank, you know, trying to do an extravagant arrangement. <clears throat> this is going to be pretty, but it's also going to be um, realistically priced. So we have our orchid um, leaves, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start on one side and I'm just going to start bending them. Okay, I'm just going to kind of curve them down on each side because, again, we want them to look as realistic as possible, okay? 
you can kind of, they're all on wire. All of this artificial stuff, that's the good thing about it, is it's all on wire, so you can just bend it and shape it however you want, okay? So I've just kind of bend it and placed it how I want, just like this. Now it's got this long stem on it, and this is good for some, some situations, but it ain't good for this one, okay? Because we're not having a big, that big of a, a spot. I trimmed down that styrofoam, so if you put this in there like this, no ma'am, okay, we're not gonna do this. This is not a good look. If I saw this in your house, I would have to call Dr. Phil and take a session because this would not be good, honey, okay? So we're gonna take that back out before anyone else sees that and says what in the world's going on in this video. And we're gonna go ahead and trim that down, okay? <clears throat> so we're gonna clip that right here at the bottom just like your fingernail, <laughs> okay? If it, it sounds like that when you cut your fingernail, you need to trim them before. Okay, so we're gonna trim that down about just like that. And um, we're gonna put a little glue on there, okay? Don't burn your fingers. And we're gonna glue this down in there. We want it to be flush with the styrofoam, I mean with the, yeah, with the styrofoam, okay? Just like that. And then as you put it in there, you can bend it and shape it how you want, guys, okay? Loretta's asking if I have a supply list of what I'm making so she can get a, a, get a follow along. Uh, Loretta, when I'm done with this video, I will go ahead and put a supply list on there. And guys, I know you've asked me that before, and I just get talking and get going, and I just forget. So if you ever want a supply list and I forget, I apologize. Just go ahead and put a, a note down below at the end of the video, and I'll go back and read the comment, and I'll remember, and I'll put it down there at the end, okay? Veronica, I know, oh my God, my friend Veronica's watching. She went on a cruise. You know how I feel about cruises, guys. I just feel like I feel confined, but everyone always goes and has a good time, and I feel like I need to try it. And, you know, I feel like I'd miss that bell. You know, you can get off the ship and you can, like, cruise around. And they blow the horn, I think, when you get ready to get back on the ship. And I feel like I would just be, you know, blacked out. And I would just miss the horn. And I'd be the next Natalie Holloway special on Lifetime, the Dylan Palmer story. Um, and that would be the ratings would be through the roof. So, you know, I don't know. Hi, Sybil. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Vicki and Deborah. Okay. <clears throat> now, look, people. The hardest part is done. We have got our orchid leaves in there. And the good thing about this, <clears throat> you can see it well on both sides. Okay. And I kind of like it better on this side. So I'm going to turn it around just like this. Now, you can find orchids in all different sizes, shapes, and colors, just like people. So um, we're going to use these white ones. Okay. Just like this. Now, you know, for this particular bowl, it's not that large. So you don't want to overpower it with a huge orchid, okay? So we're gonna go with a medium. This is a 30 inch orchid spray, okay? So you can do a larger one, but I wouldn't recommend it in this particular bowl. I would go with a little bit smaller one, okay? Hey Tina, hi Debbie, hi Wanda. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. So we're gonna trim it off, and we're gonna hold it up here to see how tall we want it. I'm going to do it a little bit shorter than that, okay, guys? Thank you, Lindsay. Okay. You know what I forgot? It's my pink machine. That's what I forgot. I'll get it in just a second. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to get it right now. So, um, guys, I've got to run and get my pink machine. I knew I was forgetting something when I started this video. I was like, oh, my God. I'm going to have Dina scan up on what we've done so far. And, you guys, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And I'm going to have Dina scan through those. I'll be right back when we grab my pink machine. Hopefully, I don't run and have an accident on the way back. I'll be right back. I knew I was doing something. Hey, Teeny. Hi, Damon. Oh, my God. Now I need an oxygen tank after running. Jesus. Um, Shorty's asking where I got my wire cutters. Guys, I got these here at Ellis. We, sh we sold these for a short period of time, but you can actually get wire cutters like at Lowe's or Home Depot on the electrical aisle. They're like $25 to $30. Um, Darlene, the birdcage on Friday is probably going to be like 10 o'clock. I'm out of breath. Let's see. 
Brenda, good morning to you too. Okay, hey Damon. Okay guys, so anyway, back to the orchid. Um, we're gonna place our first stem right here kind of at the base, at the back, okay? And you know, I have a pink machine here accessible to me, like I always say, so if you don't, that's totally fine. It's just a little bit harder to stick um, your stem into the styrofoam, which I'm not actually gonna use it on this particular thing. So put some glue on the edge of your stem and then place it right here at the back, okay? And again, this arrangement is something that's super easy, okay? Your four-year-old can do it, Stevie Wonder could do it, anybody can do this, and it's something that's gonna add a pop of color, it's refreshing, and it makes a statement in your home, okay? Let's see. Hill Country, Hoot Owl, Reese, and Decor. Good morning, good morning, Paula. <clears throat> You're in Austin. Oh, in Austin, okay. Y'all wanna know something crazy? You know, I lived in Longview my whole life, and I've never really been to Austin to like explore and do the most, have you? No. See, like, everybody says I need to go to, was it 6th Street? I don't know. I have a hard enough time walking in Longview, okay? I mean, if I go to the bar in Longview, I can barely make it out. So, they go to, like, 6th Street where there's, like, a whole street of bars and they do all this stuff all night long. I don't know if I could survive. <clears throat> but I survived this weekend, barely. I mean, these ankles are barely hanging on. They're like cankles now because of all that walking. But, oh, my God. Okay. So, and anyway, I had the second one. I trimmed it a little bit shorter. And I'm gonna place it right over here on the right side, okay? Now that's still a little bit long, so I'm gonna trim it just a little bit more. And as you can see, guys, I'm always going up here to measure what I wanna do first before, excuse me, before I uh, cut it, because you don't wanna make that serious move until you're for sure. Kinda of like with your hair, I always say. Don't cut that crap off until you know for sure that's what you wanna do, because once you cut it, it's gone, okay? Damon asked why you're not going to the live event. What live? Oh, the wreath event? Damon, I'm not sure. I've got to get with Ellis to make sure and get all the details down. I think someone, I'm not sure exactly what her name was, someone sent an email um, to Rebecca, which is the person who is in charge of the marketing and stuff like that, and I've got to get with her and see what exactly the deal is. But, but I'll get back with you and let you know for sure. And when is it again, Damon? Put a comment down below and let me know exactly when the date is. I think it's in June sometime. Okay, guys, so I put that second um, orchid leaf in right here, and that's it. That's all there is to a super easy orchid arrangement, okay? So, again, in this video, if you're just joining, guys, I'm showing you two things. I'm going to show you this orchid arrangement, and then we're going to do a saddle. But I just wanted to do a super quick orchid arrangement at the beginning because I wanted to show you that there's something you can do that's super easy. It doesn't break the bank. Anybody can do this at home. It's pretty. It's refreshing. It makes that statement. It adds that pop of color in your office or your business or your kitchen, wherever you place it in your home or your business, and it doesn't break the bank because, again, I like to do stuff that's over the top sometimes, but also I like to do stuff that's still pretty, but it doesn't break the bank and it's realistically priced, okay? So again, I took this wood bowl, I added some styrofoam, I covered it with the moss, I added the orchid leaves, and then I added two orchid stems. And again, you can change these white orchid stems out with color. If you want to put color in the space in your home or your business, wherever you want to place this, you definitely can do that as well. Okay, guys? So this is super easy. It's basically one-sided, but again, the moss shows. Make sure you find some pretty moss because when you uh, see a real orchid, you do see some of the moss, so that's good to see this, and it just goes well in this wooden bowl because it looks natural and it looks like it's realistically growing in here. Don't get drunk and water it, you know, because it wouldn't grow. It's, it's, but it's always gonna look like this and it's much easier to take care of than a uh, real one. How much are the bowls? These bowls are $24.99 for the bowl. And, and it's one size? Yeah, they're one size. And if you'll go back on our Facebook page, guys, I use these a lot of the time in um, on my tablescapes. So I'll put like a, um, a grapevine wreath and then I'll put a white charger and then I'll place this bowl and then I'll put either like a nest in here like a bird's nest and a bird in there or I'll put a moss ball you can do a lot of stuff you can do layers I like to do labor layer labors we, nobody's in labor in here thank God I was watching Chicago Med last night so that's on my mind I think I'm giving labor in here so anyway um, you, I like to do layers on my table do you watch Chicago Fire or Chicago Fire that's what I was watching Chicago Fire I love Chicago Fire oh me too I can't take it <clears throat> that boy Casey mm. Casey and I almost caught myself on fire, but you know them firemen here ain't like that. Hey, Gail. Hey, Bonnie. Damon says it's Father's Day weekend. Okay, Damon. After we get off this video, I promise I'm going to, I'll get with Rebecca and I'll find something out and I'll message you and let you know. Hey, Lexi. Okay, everybody. So now we're going to move on to our saddle. 
And again, the reason I wanted to do one more saddle is because I've had a lot of people and a lot of questions and comments about cemetery work, which is, is totally understandable. Cemetery and cemetery work is inevitable because, you know, people pass away every day, unfortunately, and so it's something that we always have to deal with. And I get a lot of requests in here for custom cemetery work, so I want to show you a more high-end um, choice of flowers and floral that we can do with cemetery that will really make a statement at the cemetery and that's pretty for your loved one, okay? So again, if you've never done cemetery before, guys, this is the video for you. You always want to start with the saddle with this base right here. If you do an artificial... Um, casket spray this is the the same base that i use because it has the rubber tips on it and you can bend this either for the tombstone or for a casket spray and the rubber tips make it so it doesn't mess up anything and also puts a grip on there so it doesn't slide off okay i had someone ask could you use a glass bowl yes guys you can and so that the good thing about this orchid arrangement is you know that the um, moss is going to be seen and so you can use all different types of bowls you can definitely find something at your home and you can use it. So any of that craft that's been re-gifted to you from your friends, you can take that and you can repurpose it and turn that trash into treasure and put those orchids in it and it will be a beautiful arrangement. Okay? So the first thing we want to do is put the styrofoam on here, guys. This is the styrofoam I use. I don't have the exact measurements. I think this is like a foot long. You know, the larger that you want the arrangement to be, the larger your styrofoam is going to be. Now remember that, okay? It's kind of like um, the bow. The longer the loops you make them, the larger the bow is going to turn out, okay? So what I do is I usually have Dana kind of come up for me and kind of come over the top of me. And I place this over the top of the styrofoam and kind of get it centered. Okay, let's see. Just like that and press it down. Okay? And to secure this, I'm just going to put some glue on the edges of the, the holes. Just like that. And while this glue is drying, I will tell you all a story about what happened to me. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. Let that dry. I even have a picture to show y'all. Okay, so listen to this crap. <clears throat> so for anyone who doesn't know, let's see. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Margaret. For anyone who doesn't know, I get scared. Oh, I thought it was burning me. Anyway, for anyone who doesn't know, hang off my boob. For anyone who doesn't know, I get scared super easily. People prank me all the time, and they can seriously, I can prank myself and scare myself to death. One time at Halloween here, we got in these like mummies that were like eight foot tall and they were wrapped all in black. Okay, they looked like me, but uh, skinny. And they were wrapped all in black and um, they scared me to death just looking at them. And so I had this bright idea that I was going to put them in the office and scare somebody. And seriously, they were so scary that I walked in to get it and I forgot it was there and it scared me to death. So that's how scared I get. So when my grandmother got sick with cancer, you know, we had to get her a wig. And so we went, I went, we went wig shopping and I bought her a wig. Well, you know me, I have to get her a wig head to go with the wig. I watched the Atlanta Housewives, so I know all them girls got wig heads. So, of course, I get on eBay one night and I get the most dramatic wig head ever. And she's got a full face of makeup. She looks like a drag queen. And she's bald headed. And, you know, you put the wig on her. And she's got this long neck. And so, um, well, when she came in, honey, she is scary. And she's got like this spray tan. She's real dark. So... I decided that I was going to scare my mom with her, and so I put her in my mom's bed, and I, I folded the sheets over her, so when my mom came in the bed at night, she would throw the sheets back, and then she would scare her. Well, her name, we named her LaDonna, okay? Her name is LaDonna, and she's got like this little hairnet on because that's what the wig sticks to. So anyway, it did not scare my mom. So my grandma's been using her this whole time, and my grandmother passed away, and so we took the wig to the funeral home on the wig head, and they've had her for like four weeks, okay? So my mom got the, my mom got LaDonna back, and I didn't know. So I came home the other night at like midnight, okay? And all of a sudden, I went upstairs. My room is pitch black, and I was going to get in bed, and I leaned over. I stuck my knee on my bed, and I leaned over to get my chapstick because these lips were crusty. And I put the chapstick on, and, you know, I went to get in my bed, and I threw the sheets back. LaDonna, ooh, I threw myself back. I hit the closet and screamed. Oh, my God, y'all. I thought, oh, my God, I saw a ghost. Let me show you. Now, this is in black and white because I don't have a colored printer back here. This is LaDonna in my bed. She scared the hell out of me. I'm just saying. Scared me to death. LaDonna was in my bed. Look at that makeup. Beat to the gods. That hair, the hair net was on. Guys, I have never freaking screamed so loud. So, let me tell you what I did. After I picked myself up off the floor, I was really gasping for air, freaked out, scared to death. Look at LaDonna. I mean, she, she's just laying there like, what, what? Anyway, I can't even look at her. She scared me to death. Jesus. So anyway, um, so then after I was scared to death, I 
pick myself off the floor, you know, and I took a deep breath and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get my mom and my sister back. So I crept downstairs and my sister always gets up at like two in the morning to pee. And so I went in her bathroom and on the back of her toilet, I stuck LaDonna on the back of her toilet and I waited. And so at two in the morning, my sister got up to pee and she went in there and that girl scared the crap out of my sister. And anyway, it scared my sister to death. And so I got her back. So then we went to Dallas for the weekend. Okay. We went to Dallas. Whew, we went to Dallas. I'm getting heated thinking about this. We went to Dallas and um, we put LaDonna in the back seat and strapped her in the seat belt. She rode all the way to Dallas with us. And we went out to the club. I'll tell you all that story in a minute. But we went to the club, came back at like 2.30 in the morning. We put her in my friend Lori's bed. And uh, anyway, Lori went to sleep. LaDonna was tucked up in the bed the whole time. She didn't even notice. Went to sleep. She woke up in the middle of the night and rolled over. LaDonna was there. And so they had a photo shoot. And she had her hand over her mouth and was taking pictures like this in the bed and everything. They had a whole photo shoot. So anyway, safe to say, LaDonna came back home. And then so my mom put her... Um, on her bathroom counter just, you know, because we were home. I walked in there last night. She scared me to death again, and I knew she was in there. Oh, my God. So, LaDonna, so everybody, if you're just joining us, this is LaDonna. This is my girlfriend. She is at the house. She will scare you to death, okay? So, anyway, I'm just telling y'all. It's never a dull moment. at the, And this is just her head. She's got a long neck. It's like this long, and she sits up on the thing. And my grandmother's wig used to be on her, but now she's bald-headed, so she looks like a robber, you know? <laughs> yeah. She looks like one of those girls you see on, um, on ID channel, you know, like the killer next door. Anyway, so Unsolved Mysteries, there she is. <clears throat> so anyway, we'll get to the Dallas story in just a minute, because I had someone ask about what happened to me in Dallas, so I'll tell y'all in a moment. So I hope y'all enjoyed that, but yeah. So see, things that I do to um, scare other people end up scaring me. So it's just a nightmare. I have to tell y'all a story in a minute. It's probably way inappropriate, but I mean, we've already passed that line like 14 videos ago. So I'll go ahead and tell y'all. I haven't even told Dina this. Morgan is going to die. <laughs> Morgan's dying that picture. Morgan, I know. Isn't this creepier than the real thing? Because I don't have color ink back here. So I have to actually, I just had the black and white. And me and Dina printed this out. And I'm like, oh my God, this is creepier than the real thing. I'm going to bring LaDonna up here on Friday, y'all, and I'll show you. I'll show y'all her real thing, and I'm going to get away for her, okay? Okay. Anyway, so now that our glue is dried, this is the saddle that we're going to do, okay? So we're going to go ahead and bend these wires up. Morgan says you should frame it. <laughs> yes, I'm going to, because this is in my bed. Mm-hmm. Hey, girl. Okay. Like, I can't even look at her. I have to turn that picture over. She creeps me out. So, okay, guys. Thank you, Cynthia. I love you. <laughs> okay. LaDonna is a celebrity, okay? She has been around the world, over the river, through the woods. <clears throat> so, we have our styrofoam on our saddle. And um, we, I've just bent those little ledges down because it makes it easier if you prop this up before you begin your uh, work. Okay, guys? So, I'm going to do a little more. Prop it up a little higher. Okay, just like that. Lindsay says you should make a flower wig, floral wig or a floral crown. Oh, for her hair. I'm gonna get her another wig because that that wig cap is freaking scary. She scares me to death. Oh my god, it's just too much. Okay. So guys, on um a cemetery saddle, you always want to make a base with leather leaf fern. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. A lot of the people ask about um, what type of fern I use. And so, look, we're not using maidenhair today. We're using leather leaf. Okay, this is an inexpensive fern. And the reason we're using this is because it's not the prettiest, but it makes a great base and it make a great foundation and backdrop for what we're going to use and what we're going to add. So, this is what we're going to do today. So, I have the leather leaf here. This is what it looks like, an individual piece. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to split it up, okay, and kind of tear it off. Okay. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Linda. Hi, Gail. Okay. It looks What's like looking? a spider. What does? Is there a spider in here? Oh, yeah. Brenda says looks like a spider. Brenda, I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't do Charlotte's Web. I don't want Charlotte in here flying on me. Lord help us. Okay. So we're going to put a little glue on each one of these. And we're going to start at the end here. And we're going to put three, okay? The ones on the outer edges, we're going to kind of bend out. Okay, and then we're going to just 
just like this. So we're gonna put three on each end, just like this, so they're gonna fan out. So if Dina gets hot, we'll fan her. Okay, just like that. We're gonna put three on this end as well, okay? Oh my God, see there? I almost lost the two. I told y'all that podiatrist, I've been trying to tell him to watch. <clears throat> Let's see, we have um, Evelyn watching. Sneaking at work again. Mm, mm, mm. Evelyn, Evelyn, I bet your boss would be okay. Kelly, Dylan does not like bugs of any kind. Kelly, I'm scared of everything. You know, my number one bug I'm scared of is June bugs. It's mainly because they clamp on you and you would not know. Okay? The wire looks like a spider. Oh, okay. Ooh. Myron, we are in Longview, Texas. Where are you? Where she said she was? In Houston. Oh, in Houston. Okay. It's a Beaumont store. It'd be closer to her. Um, so, Myron, did you get any damage from all those floods that they had a while back? Was it last year? Um, the hurricane? Yeah. Did you get any damage, girl? Let us Leave a comment and let us know. Hopefully not. Okay. Hey, Jill. Glad you're joining us this morning. Kathy's sneaking at work, too. All these people sneaking around. Don't blame me, honey. I'm out of, I'll be in enough trouble. I'm sure everything I've said. So don't, don't blame me. Rachel is asking, can you use this on a mailbox? Yes, a lot of people ask that. This same frame, you can keep continue bending these wire things, and it'll fit like a glove on a mailbox. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding my base around the bottom of this uh, saddle. Okay. Miriam said yes. Oh my gosh, girl. Well, I hope um, you've got it all fixed now, and I hate that happened to you. That was just awful. All the damage. Guys, I'm not gluing every one of these on this video because I'm trying to try and speed it up a little bit so I can tell y'all another story. But if you were doing this at home and you were going to put this at the cemetery, I would definitely make sure you glue and secure each and every one of these so that way when there is a, a heavy wind, it doesn't blow away. Okay? So this is what we've got so far. I've got three on each end, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five on the sides. And see, as you can see, this makes a beautiful, great foundation before we begin adding any florals, okay? And it makes a great fan. And this leather leaf is $4.99 and 25% off, so $3.74 for this bundle. So you really get a lot in one bush, okay? Two, three, four, five, what happened? Darlene took a tent down because of a gym bug. Me too, girl. I would be running, running it like crazy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Myron, so much. Did I just hit that on your leg? <laughs> oh my God, they got stuck to her leg. Oh, let's talk, guys. Did y'all watch American Idol last night? I was just telling Dina that, um, you know, they did the All Stars last night where they like sang with the celebrities, and I'm a, a huge fan of um, Jennifer Nettles from Sugarland, and um, I love her, and she sang with that blonde headed girl at the end and they song they sung they sang stay and it was one of my favorites i loved it loved it loved it will you read um debbie's comment to me visiting my daughter in dallas last summer i noticed she had a spider and a web above her front door it was the biggest spider i've ever seen in my entire life i think it was called a banana spider um i was thinking of buying a home there but no i can't do banana spiders if I had a spider in my house, I would call the real estate agent and burn that house down. I tell, I'm serious. I can't do it. Diane, the reason I haven't watched The Voice is because I can't do the freaking battle rounds. I can't concentrate on who's best because they just are so good. They're blended so well together. It's hard for me to concentrate. But I do love The Voice as well. Okay, so we've got our foundation done, guys. So this is what it looks like right here. Okay. So again, anybody who has any questions or comments about what we're doing today, leave a comment down below. Any, any content or material that you want to see, request it down below as well. Even though we're having fun and telling stories, I don't also don't want you to um, miss out on any opportunity to ask any questions because I'm here for that as well. What is the wire base called? Judy, why are you trying to scare me? No, I have not. Actually, I have seen that. In the warehouse one time here, we had a spider, and we stepped on it because we just thought it was a little spider, and all those little babies went everywhere, and I went out the door. Mm -hmm. Down to the road I go, just like a hitchhiker. Oh, my God. Sherry said she saw Jennifer Nettles last Christmas. <sighs> Christmas is my favorite time, Sherry, and I love her Christmas specials on the, the CMT specials. Okay. 
Kathy, I know. I see flying monkeys too one time after I had too much vodka. Hi, Tina. How are you? <clears throat> okay, guys. I'm just impressed with this foundation. So we're going to continue. Now. What is the wire base called? It's just a saddle wire base. This is what it looks like from the bottom, guys. We added the styrofoam on there. We put a few drops of glue on the edges to secure it. And then we created our um, base with the leather leaf fern. So this is a flower option that I chose, guys. It's a rose bush. It's got a mixture of lilies in it as well. It's got some baby's breath and some greenery. So it's got a whole bunch of stuff going on in one bush. And for the price, let me tell you all the price because I'm sure some of y'all are wondering. It's uh, $9.99 and then it is um, like $50 off, so five bucks. Okay? So, again, I'm gonna reiterate this one more time. When you do a cemetery arrangement, whether it's a saddle or cone or whatever, this is a no. Not just a no, but an H no. You know what that means? <clears throat> you don't want to do this, okay? Because you don't get the, the shape and the placement that we are trying to achieve, okay? You don't want to get, you don't get the outcome you want. Um, so you don't ever want to stick this all in at one time. Take those wire cutters that I told you you can get at the hardware store, and you want to cut each and every piece, okay? Lori, happy early birthday, because I love Christmas, I'm going to tell you. Samantha's Damon, I'll kill you. There better not be no spider in here. I'll get that fire extinguisher up there and blast that thing around here. <clears throat> have you ever made a floral arrangement using flowers to write a name? I have not. But if you guys have done that, post a picture and let me know. While I'm thinking about that, I want to get a shout out. Hopefully I can read my writing. because Gwendolyn Banks, um, I want to give you a shout out because she did that infinity where she sent me a picture on our Facebook page. She did a beautiful job, so I want to give a shout out to her, and I want to give a shout out to Ann Ledford. She did a cemetery wreath. She did, oh, she did a, the cemetery arrangement. She did the wreath that we did and the lantern. She sent all three items on the uh, Facebook uh, direct messenger, and she did an awesome job as well. So all of you are sitting at home saying, I don't know how to do this. Y'all did great. Great, great. So if you ever come to Longview, come to the Ellison Longview, give us a shout out and see us and give us a hug because we'd love to meet you and interact because you girls are doing a great job. LaDonna's still here. I turn her back over. My God. Oh, Lord, out there. Okay. Arachnophobia. Have you seen that movie with the spiders? I, I love the movie. Let me tell you. I'm scared of spiders, but I love that movie, and it's so fake, but I just can't even deal with it. Okay. Hi, Janice. What? Thank you so much for watching. If I have any other first-timers, guys, go ahead and put your name down below where you're watching from and let us know it's your first time watching and how you heard about us. Okay, so when you get your um, bushes, guys, go ahead and trim each one of these, okay? And after I get some of these flowers placed in here, I'll go ahead and tell you about how we did in Dallas, okay? Are you the one who helped out Scott with the wreath last night? Me? I'm not. I was not here. Okay. I was at home... Um, eating popcorn, watching um, Chicago Fire, hoping I would catch on fire. Do you guys watch Chicago Fire? Because me and Dina were just talking about it, and whoo, mm, mm, mm. who knew a gap in the teeth could be so sexy? You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Where on the base do you put the fern leaves? Is it closer on the to edge? It? So I'm gonna have Dina kind of get up close on the edge here. So not on the top of the styrofoam, guys. You want to put it along the base, so the whole rim, if you will, will have the the edge of the fern. Okay, so we're going to turn our stems down and we're going to start in the middle of the styrofoam here. Okay. And we're going to place each one of our stems. Ooh, that's hot. <clears throat> okay. And we're going to alternate each one. So don't put two of the like flowers beside each other, okay? You want to alternate flowers. So in this particular bush, I've got the lilies and I've got the uh, roses. And as you go, put each flower a little bit shorter as you go down. So don't put them uh, all the way across because that will ruin your shape. But you don't want them going like this either. You don't want a, a complete triangle, just a little bit shorter each time as you go down. Okay? Diana, I'm glad you made it. Hey, Connie. How many flower bushes will you probably use? Um, flower bushes. I'm not sure yet, guys. Probably around three or four. We'll just have to kind of wait and see. So we're going to keep adding these on there. Elizabeth, you can put it on the headstone. You can bend, keep bending the wires to where it fits around the headstone. I'm 
Okay. So I got a story for y'all about my mom. So, you know, all of, everybody always says when I bring up a story about my mom, it's always going to be good. Dina has not heard this either, I don't think. Don't read Betsy's comment. <sighs> I'm done. Okay. Anyway, so one time, guys, my mom was married and um, her husband kept going to the bathroom in my bathroom, if you know what I'm saying. So um, I got this bright idea to saran wrap the toilet. So if you guys have ever heard of that, what you do is you raise the toilet seat, you put a, a layer of saran wrap, and um, you put the toilet seat back down. So that way when you go to the bathroom, you just, Gosh. yeah, or something else. You know what I'm, okay? So anyway, I told my mom four times, mom, I saran wrap the toilet, do not go in there, it's a trap, okay? Don't do it. Do you think she listened to me? Okay, you think after four times. So. She gets up the next morning, and she goes in there to pee, and um, we had a rainstorm, okay? Meaning, she peed all over herself. The saran wrap worked, okay? She soaked herself in there, and it just my whole trap failed because she sat in there, and I told her, Mom, that was not for you. She came out of there drenched, okay? Her pants were all wet. She was soaked. She was pissed, and she was screaming. And I was like, Mom, I tried to tell you. And me and Morgan were dying, my sister. We were like, look, Mom, we told you that we told you that was not for you. Anyway, so it just did not work out how I had planned. So anyway, we play pranks with my mom like that all the time, all the time. So that's a, 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 a prank that you guys can play at your house if you ever want to do that. But she learned her lesson, and now she listens very clearly what we tell her. Okay? Let's see. Hi, Janet. Hi, Moody. Let's see. I forgot who asked. Um, Sylvia's asking, can you put this? She's got a flat tomb headstone. Can How can this work? Can it, will it still work? Um, you, can have, you can put it, but you're going to cover up the majority of the headstone. So you're going to have to put it, but... Uh, pull the, the things down all the way so it kind of sits up and you can kind of see. I wouldn't put it flat across the headstone. Okay? Someone's asking about a glue pan. I do have one. I just don't have one back here. And you know, I need to buy one so I have one back here. Because it'd be a lot easier. Danielle is asking, I have a one inch metal railing that goes around the front porch. I've been trying to figure out how to do a floral piece for display on the railing. Do you have any suggestions? Yes, what was her name? Danielle. Hey, Danielle. Yes, you can actually do this if you want it to be smaller or if you want it to be big. Use a Christmas garland, okay? Um, because that makes a great foundation and it's long. It's something you can drape. You can put it across the front. It's a straight piece um, and it's something you don't see. So you can use a Christmas garland for different seasons, not just Christmas, and you won't see the base. So I use it a lot of the times for all season long because it makes a great base and you can add stuff and subtract stuff and you won't see the actual garland, okay? And I like it because you can put it straight you can drape it, and your base is already there, okay? Diana Collins said it was nice meeting you. Do you remember her? I remember her. Okay, guys, so I have my first layer across the front here. So that's what it looks like from the front side and from the top, okay? So we're going to work with one side at a time. So I've got the top. Now I'm going to go across here at the front, okay? So as I'm adding, I will tell you guys about my Dallas trip. So I've had a lot of people ask about... Um, Carol, we're done with the bugs, I promise. I've had a lot of people ask about my Dallas trip, and for those of you who don't know, you know, I don't go out very often, but when I do, I usually make a scene. So, um, we went out this weekend to Dallas. My aunt lives in Dallas. She lives in Rockwall, so if you have any Rockwall watchers, give us a shout out. Rockwall, Texas. Um, so me and Josh, Morgan, my mom, my mom doesn't go out very often either. We all went to Rockwall, and my mom and my aunt and my sister have never been to a drag show before. And I don't really go out to drag shows either very often. But we decided to go, so um, we all went. What is that? Yeah, just leave it there. I'll get it after we're done. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Evelyn. Connie's saying that fireplace fan will be cute. Yes. <clears throat> so we all we all got ready, guys, and we went out to. First, we went to dinner. We had a great dinner. 
We got turned up there, and then we decided we're gonna go to the drag show. So we all go to S4 in Dallas. So if I have, if, if anybody's watching who's been there before, leave a comment and let me know if you've been there before. Well, I've only been there one time, so I really didn't know what to expect. I had forgot. So anyway, we went, and oh my God, we had a blast. One, we were sitting against the railing, and there was a stage up at the front. And they get ready to start. They play this big music, and you know, I didn't know what to expect. If anybody's been to a drag show before, let me know and let, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And so I wasn't know, I didn't know what the talent was like. And so the first people came out, and this girl came out, and I was like, oh, yes. And so they were all running out, and they were in high heels, doing the most. And my mom is like, she, she's over there like mm, dancing like this. And I'm like, what is going on with my mother? And Proud Mary came on. So if any of you know that song, Proud Mary from Tina Turner, this, this one drag queen came out. She had this hair on, like Tina Turner. And they had this part, and she was like shaking her hair like this. And my mom was over there shaking her hair. And then all of a sudden, these guys got into a fight behind us. And this guy, all I could see was his lip ring was sticking out. And my mom was over there. And she was like rubbing his neck, and I'm like, mother, calm down. You barked up the wrong tree, honey. But anyway, she was over there like trying to calm him down. So we had to calm down the guy with the lip ring. And then anyway, my mom was out there dancing and doing the most and having a great time. And uh, we just had an awesome time in Dallas. We danced until we dropped. And my, I told you, when you wake up in the morning and your ankles are hurting, you know that um, you had a great night because my ankles and my cankles were killing me. And we got home at like 2.30 or three o'clock in the morning. And I don't ever do that anymore, guys. I'm a homebody, so like I like to stay at home. I like to sit on the couch and watch Netflix, and I very rarely go out. So when I do, um, we stayed out and we made it last, and we had a great time. So we probably won't be out again because we spent a lot of money. Because you know, you gotta tip the drag queens, you gotta pay for the drinks. You gotta, have you ever been to a drag show? Mm -mm. You never have? Oh my God, we gotta take Dina out, guys. She's gonna be in for a treat, oh my gosh. Has a lot of people been to one? There's a few. Yes. If you guys have not been, it's not, it, you don't, a lot of people stereotype it, but it's so, it was a lot of fun, and my mom and my aunt and my sister were thoroughly entertained. Uh, some of them were on there from RuPaul's Drag Race, and they were very talented, and um, one girl, it's not appropriate for this story, but anyway, she, it was just, it was awesome. I had a great time, okay? So guys, if you have not went, you need to go, because it is hilarious. Okay, so we're going to add our, um, do I? I'm just agreeing with somebody. Oh, okay. Whew. Okay, guys, so we're going to keep adding our flowers here. And again, you want to alternate as you go so not two flowers are the same or alike as you place them here on the thing. Deborah's Ashland City, just north of Nashville. Okay, guys, so it's getting... Um, time for lunch so go ahead and put a comment down below and tell me and Dina what you're having for lunch because I'm getting hungry and if you guys haven't already heard I'm gonna have grilled chicken today with black beans and rice I'm gonna start on my little diet today I'm just gonna try and eat healthier at lunch because I think that if I do I'll be more inclined to get on the right track hopefully but I got on the scale yesterday morning when I woke up I lost six pounds I haven't got on there since because I probably broke the um, weight limit on there but hopefully it's good I'm having grilled chicken, a piece of toast, and an orange. Well, that sounds good. But I'm having Dr. Pepper with it. Oh, no, I have a water bottle. I just have to close my eyes and think, and I'm going to sit in the car and watch Chicago. Fire. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys watch Chicago Fire, leave a comment and let me know who your favorite is. Deb says her son is a Winona Judd impersonator, sings her live in the RuPaul Entertainment. Would have been good. For real? Oh my God, send us a video. Who said that? Deb Hart Point Dexter. <sighs> Deb, send us a video on the direct messages of your son. I would love, me and Dina would want to see. Ooh, I love a, ta a taco truck. Okay, I'm going to have Dina scan up real quick and show you guys what we've got so far. We've got two layers going. We started at the middle section. Then we've done the second layer, and we're just going to work our way out as we go. Okay? For all of you just joining us, guys, we started off with this orchid arrangement over here on this side, and now we're continuing with this saddle. I wanted to show you the orchid arrangement because it's quick and easy. It's something that anybody can complete at home, and it's something that will really add a statement into your office or your home or your business. Uh 
A lot of people like a Chicago Fire. But Severide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite? Severide. See, I used to be him, but I like Casey. I like both of them. And Casey's, when he's not on the show, you can hear his British accent. He's got an accent? He, oh, yes. Ooh. Pause. He's, he's from Great Britain. Okay, Crystal, why'd you have to do that? Why? Fried pork chops, soup, beans, fried potatoes, green lettuce, onions, hot grease poured over all this. <laughs> why? 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 God. Hey, Candy. Hey, Ann. Hey, Lori. Um, Wanda's wanting to know how tall the first flower was. I'd say about six inches. You don't want to do it too tall because you don't want your saddle to be overpowering. So, about six inches. Okay? Sephiroth's everybody's favorite. Y'all know he dated Lady Gaga. So, that's how I got to know him. But I didn't know what show or how he was popular. But when I started that first episode, I knew. I knew. So, how, how far have you watched him the show? I'm only on the first season. I haven't watched any of this season because that's where my cable went. But you're pretty much caught up like five yeah. five seasons in or so? Yeah. So is that Chief still on there? He is? He was when I started Well, I didn't watching. know. I mean, is all the original cast still on there? Yeah. But I heard that lady died. Did you hear one of the main cast members die? Well, there was one that died off in the first two seasons? No, this one died in real life. Oh. And, uh, I don't know. You watch any other ones like the spinoffs? No, because I couldn't get into them. Well, they don't have Severide or Casey on there. Well, uh, Chicago PD, I didn't like because the the head guy was really ugly to Casey on Chicago Fire, so I couldn't watch it because I didn't like him. So you have to tell me this, though, okay. Do Casey and his, like, fiancé ever have a baby? Not while I was watching. They, she went to foster a little boy. Because, you know, he really wants to have kids and she don't. Mm -hmm. So I'm done with her. Because he'd make a great father. Mm -hmm. I was just like, why don't, he give, why don't she give him a kid? Because she's rude, that's why. <laughs> okay, and let me ask you this. Do um, Dawson, is that her name? Mm -hmm. And the guy that his family owns a restaurant ever get together? Not while I was watching it. Okay. So that's what I do on my lunch break. I sit in my car, guys, and I watch TV. Uh, Robin says I gotta wait. When, oh my God, Robin, I love Hallmark, girl. That comes on Hallmark. I know the title. I watch every Hallmark Christmas movie. They're all predictable. They all have a happy ending. They all fall in love. They all are cheesy, but I watch every single one because I'm just a diehard fan. But I love Candace Cameron Bure. Is that her name? Mm -hmm. And she's on a lot of those movies, and so I, I watch them all. Oh, Mary, she just burned it. Oh. Child. Okay. Do you ever use picks in the saddles? I do, and we'll, I'll show you that as we progress. I'll show you. Okay, so I've got one side done, guys. So here's the side view and the top view. So now we're going to replicate what we did on this side over here to this side. Okay? Let's see what Colette says. Love, love to see floral design. You do a great job going Thursday to see Windward Silk Show. Love to see different design and learn different ways to do design. Paulette, I love the Windward Showroom. They do a great job as well. Do I have a lot of Hallmark fans out there? I see that we have one. Deborah loves Hallmark too. Ooh, Paulette. Your son is a firefighter. Uh, Teresa's asking about her saddles, guys. She says they blow away from the thing. What you're doing wrong, Teresa, once you place your saddle over the top of the stone, is you want to take clear boxing tape and wrap it around the top of the stone on top of the um, things. Pull your greenery down, and it'll hide that. And what that boxing tape will do, it does not mess up or tear up your stone or leave residue and it will keep your saddle on there and keep it from blowing away because that's what you do not want is it rolling down the cemetery okay and guys i don't really watch hallmark like everyday movies i just watch christmas because the everyday ones are just team too much okay sometimes they're too cheesy is there a count or a pattern that you follow there's not i just alternate guys alternate my stems and as you guys finish anything uh, with any of the guidance that we guys have showed you, make sure you share those photos because we'd love to see your finished product. And I have want to thank all the people who sent in their photos because 
Um, I love to see them, and I show Gina some of them as well when I, when I get to see her back here, and we love seeing those also. And we're going to be doing some memorial pieces as well, like Memorial Day and Fourth of July, because those holidays are coming up soon. Okay? Phyllis, I know how you feel. They used to steal my dad's stuff off there as well, and you just have to hope that they don't. Because you know where those people are going that steal that stuff. Hey, Cindy. Yeah, guys, if you do us a favor and share these videos, we'd appreciate it. What that does is it gets the word out, and it gets a lot of more people um, invited into our, our family here. Deb, you're my girl. Christmas in July is one of my favorite times on Hallmark. For two weeks, I think they play all the Christmas movies, and I watch every single one. My DVR has 0% free because I have them all recorded. Nancy says, isn't it a rule of thumb the arrangement should be... One and a half times the height of the container. Yes, that's very correct. Very correct. And you know what? I don't measure each and every each and every one of them, but I do try and just eyeball it because you know I've done it several, so I try and eyeball it. But yes, if you're a new, a first timer, then I would definitely try and measure because your outcome is going to be much more uh, pretty. Okay. Is there a way to make a saddle bigger? Yeah, the longer your stems, the larger your outcome, and the larger your saddle is going to be. Okay. Do you ever make silk hanging baskets that could be hung on a shepherd? Oh, excuse me. Yes, one of the most popular silk hanging baskets is, of course, a Boston fern because a lot of the times people want to put Boston fern hanging about. You can find artificial Boston ferns that look very realistic, and you don't have to worry about watering them or the upkeep. And so a lot, I make a lot of those for custom customers, like custom arrangements. And so we do those, and we have done in the past a few that are, that are um, artificial as well. Like Wisteria is popular because you can put it in the cocoa liner baskets and it drapes. And so that's popular as well. Connie says she puts flowers on her mom and dad's graves and the duck at the graveyard comes and picks them out. So she has been uh, putting them. BB gun. Hi, Carolyn. Who do you know the I don't know. I just said gay last night. She ain't here. What can I say? Come in. I had the same problem with my saddle blown away. I dug a hole about 10, 12 inches deep and put in front of the stone and sank a piece of PVC pipe in the hole. That's a good idea. Yeah, sometimes you got to get crafty, guys, because you never know. Hi, Kelly. Thank you so much. Donna, you did. She says she, wrote, she read there's going to be 34 new Christmas movies this year on Hallmark Channel. I love that. And I love their Hallmark Christmas, uh, Christmas ornaments as well. They have the Christmas premiere in July every year as well. And that's basically when we start decorating also. So if you guys are Christmas freaks, if you're a Christmas freak also, give me a thumbs up while you're watching this video or a heart because I'd love to see how many people are Christmas freaks as well because I'm one of those people and Dina's one of those people and we start decorating for Christmas here in July also. So then's the time to come. While you're watching your Christmas movies, come on down here and see us also. To see, I see a lot of people our secret Christmas lovers, and I'm a, a secret Christmas shopper. It's not really a secret because I come home with stuff all the time. Mm, Diana, we'll go out and show you in just a minute what our new um, some of our ribbon that we have is. Okay. Do I have anybody watching from Pigeon Forge? Because some people sent me some photos from the Christmas store. If I have any more people from Pigeon Forge, you guys should send me some more photos because I haven't been able to make it out there yet and I don't know when I'm going to be able to. So if you do go to the Christmas place, is that what it's called? Christmas place in Pigeon Forge, send me some photos on the direct messenger because I'd love to see some more. And I want to thank, I forgot her name again. I thank her in the other video, whoever sent me the photos because I love to see. Okay? Hi, Susie. Charles, mine does too. Hi, Darlene. Can mesh be placed in a saddle to take up space? Yes, it can. I've never done it, but I've seen a few designers do it, and theirs always turns out well. I just don't work a lot with mesh because my outcome's not always the best. I've just never really 
done well with it, but I've seen a lot of people do really good with it. Hey, Vicki, will girls send me some photos, please? Uh, Teresa, you too. Thank you, Missy. Okay, Brenda, she lives our way. I'd be driving every day. Vicky's going Pigeon Forge next week. I know. Y'all send me some pictures, please. Janet's going in a couple of weeks. Okay, guys, so we have finished the flower part. Okay, so here's the front side. I kind of scan it from side to side. Like a model. Okay. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to add in some more leather leaves to just kind of fill in. So all of these spaces that you see inside of here, we're going to fill in with leather leaf to fill those in, and then we're going to add some baby's breath to finish this baby off. Okay? So... Thank you so much, Tracy and Kelly and Crystal and Diana. And guys, if you wanted to add a bow or a piece of ribbon, I'm not going to do it here. You can definitely add it in the middle and you can leave your tails long. And you can put those press-on, stick-on letters and you can make a personalized message or a greeting on this. So you can put mom or father or mother or whatever you want to place on here. And you can really personalize it and put that at the cemetery as well. Or if you want to make this particular thing a casket spray, this would be a great item to do that with as well. Okay, and how you do that is you just place your bow or your or whatever your ribbon on a pick and put it on there as well. Okay, so I've got my greenery. Now, to do the greenery on here, I'm going to um, trim off this bottom two leaves. So how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to cut off the bottom right here. Okay, so I've got this because I don't need all that. Okay. So now you would glue each and every one of these, but for time, I'm just going to place it in here. You're just gonna go and you're gonna bend these down and you're just gonna to begin to fill in. I'm gonna have you come a little closer as I do this so you can see. You're just gonna to start to bend these down just like this and fill in all of the spaces as we decorate. Not decorate, the design. Have you seen the giant homecoming parcelages? I have. I have not ever done one of those guys. I don't do a lot of homecoming from scratch. Um, I usually find a base and then I add to because we don't do a lot of homecoming here. But if you guys are big homecoming people, uh, send us some pictures because, again, I would love to see your work. We have a, a lady here named Tina, and she does a lot of homecoming from scratch, and hers are huge. She puts the boas on there. She puts all the trinkets, all that stuff. So if you do that as well, send us pictures because we would love to see. We would love to see. Hey, Teresa, she's coming to us from Kentucky. Southwest Kentucky. I love Kentucky Fried Hot Chicken. Closer to Hottown or? I like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, we're gonna keep adding in this greenery, guys, and just filling in any place that you see styrofoam, you don't wanna see styrofoam. So you wanna make sure you just go around and you place this in there and fill it. And you can put too much greenery and you can make it look cluttered, so just make sure you put what is necessary, everything in moderation. So go back through and just make sure you get an overall look because you don't want to see styrofoam when you walk away from this at the monument or at the cemetery. Robin, as soon as the video is over, you'll be able to go back and catch it from the beginning. Okay, guys, so I've added in some of that. And as you can see, it's filled in all of the spaces. Okay, now a minute ago, someone was asking me about the pick machine and the saddle. And yes, of course I use it. And the reason being, and I use it on the saddle and the cone. When you get to this stage and you've added all this stuff, you can't see the styrofoam. So it's very hard to see where you're placing your stem and it's hard to get that in the styrofoam. So if you have a sharp pick on there, it's easy just to shoot it through all that greenery, okay? So I'm gonna add my baby's breath, and I'm gonna pick each one of these so I can just stick it in there really quickly. And it makes it easier. If the pick machine's not accessible to you or it's not something that you have at your house, that's totally cool, guys, because you can still do it. It just takes a little bit more time, and it's just easier if you have one. So no big deal if you don't, okay? Tammy has some good stories for her trip, and she's only 24 hours into it. Oh, Lord. Where's she going? Tammy, where are you going? Hi, Gail. Gail, it's actually beautiful today. Your Destiny's Child, honey. What are you saying? Somebody said about the name. Where can you place the name on it? 
Um, you can put a bow on the top of this and you can leave the streamers long off the side and you can put the streamers on there and you can put the press on letters on there and that's how you could put the name on it. So guys, right here, I'm gonna show you this. On my, um, what's this called? Baby's, Baby's breath. breath. I have, you know, a long stem. I'm just cutting it into three sections. And so you're getting three simple stems out of one. And then I'm gonna pick each one. And so that's how I'm gonna place this in my set. Okay. Twala said she found an old coffee pot, like cowboys used mm -hmm. back in the day. And she added flowers and a ribbon. Do you have any ideas on how, to how any other ideas on how to decorate it? Hold on just a second. I think we get one more time. Uh, Daddy, one year I found an old <coughs> coffee pot like the Cowboys used a thousand years ago. I added flowers <coughs> and a ribbon. It was awesome. Well, that's how I would do. I would add, I would add the arrangement and flowers. And um, that's what I would do. Twi I would just use maybe like a more rustic type of flower or make it look more manly so that, you know, it is for your father. And that's what I would do for it as well. But I bet it was going to turn out awesome. So leave a comment down below with a picture or send it to us in the direct messages because I'd love to see it. Tina's in Amish country, Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. So you're just going around the world. Okay, guys. So I'm going to start adding in my baby spray. I'm going to have Dina kind of get up close. You can see. So I picked the off-white, more of the cream, because there's cream in the middle of the lilies. Okay, so the white would really stick out. So I decided against that. So I'm going to add this baby's breath in as I go. Okay? And as you can see, this particular um, cemetery bush that I chose looks very realistic. And so that's why I chose this. It looks real. It looks elegant and pretty. And this would be great for your mother's grave or your grandmother's grave. Or as her casket spray. So this just goes to show you that you can have artificials that look real. And that's what you want when... Um, designing with artificial. You don't want them to look plastic. That's the last thing that you want. Rowan says she has a pick machine. And where do you oil it and how often? I have no idea. I do not oil mine. We have somebody that we send ours to because sometimes they can get in the jam and that's a pain in the butt. But um, I don't know. But I can tell you this. Um, what's her name, Robin? Mm -hmm. Right here, this little screw. If you have a problem with the, the picks jamming, you can mess with this screw, like turn it one way or the other, and sometimes it helps adjust it. What flowers would you consider to be manly? Sunflowers, um, greenery. I like to add a lot of greenery with like grasses. Um, and just darker colors. Hydrangeas are pretty, snowball sprays are pretty, darker roses are pretty. I would just stay away from like pinks and purples. I love poppies. Those are pretty with like English ivy. You can mix those together. I like those as well. Hi, Bonnie. What's she saying? It's looking so beautiful. I'm watching while we work on summer wreath for our fireplace. Had a brain fart and now I've got to get the button ready to glue. Got to do it when I actually have an idea. Can't wait. Can't walk and chew gum. Neither can I. Sure can't talk and work at the same time. I'm not chewing gum on here though, I promise. Let's see. Glasgow, Scotland. Is there such thing as a handheld pick machine? Yes, there is. Those are a little bit difficult to use because you put one pick in at a time, but they're inexpensive. So if that's something that fits your budget, I would recommend getting and that might be helpful to you. If you're just now beginning to design and you're just doing a little bit at a time, I would recommend getting that for beginners. And you think you can get those at a floral store or you can get them online maybe. Okay, I think we're going to add a couple more pieces of this um, here. Okay guys, so that's it. So as you can see, we added the baby's breast. So we have the three ingredients. We have the leather leaf fern, we have the, the cemetery bush that we use with the roses in it and the lilies, and we added the baby's breath. So as you can see, that's really elegant. And if you really want to add another pop of color or really personalize this, guys, 
you can definitely add that bow on there with the tails and you can put the personalization on there with the letters, okay? You can buy just a stick on letters and any choice that you want and put those on there also, okay? Can you tape a pick on? You can, guys. You can tape a wire pick or a metal pick on there. Just get that green or brown floral tape and that's how you can use that on there to do that as well, okay? So guys, we started out with this orchid arrangement. It's super easy. It's at the beginning of the video. So if you miss out, if you're just joining us, guys, go ahead and scroll back at the beginning when we get done with this video. Check this out. It's something super easy. Anyone can do it. It takes literally five minutes. And it looks very pretty and real. And then we continue with the cemetery saddle as well. So hope all of this stuff was helpful, helpful for, you, for you today. And hopefully you can learn something from it. All this guidance will help you on any future endeavors that you guys go on. And um, anything that you want to see, guys, any content or material, leave a comment down below and let us know, okay? Hi, Susan. Hi, Teresa. Tiana, they're silk. Yes, guys, all these are silk. If you know me, I don't do real, honey, because I will kill it. So, um, anything else that you guys want to know, please um, leave a comment down below. I also want to thank you all again for joining in last Friday for our Greenhouse video. I loved all the comments and interactions, so think about those comments that you want to ask for this Saturday's Greenhouse video. Um, because Mark is going to be here again to answer all of your questions. It's going to be beautiful this week, so hopefully we can get outside again this time and answer all of those outside. It's supposed to rain you Friday and Saturday. Just kidding. We're going to be inside again like Ellen. But um, we're here to answer your questions. So I want to thank you. And again, share your stuff with us, guys. If you take these guidance and this, this, these tips and the tricks that we show you each and every week, please send your pictures in, slide in the DMs, and send those to us because we love to see them. We love to interact with you guys. And if you stop by our Longview location where me and Dina are, please give us a hug and give us a shout out. And if you're not near our Longview location, that is cool guys, because we have four locations. You can find them on our website at ellishomeandgarden.com. And hopefully there's one near you. And a lot of people are asking about our online store. Guys, we're working on it to get it up and running super soon. I promise you, I'm not just saying that, I'm not lying to you guys, because I want this stuff to be accessible to you so that you guys have a chance to purchase it and to create what we're doing here today. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed my stories today. I hope none were too inappropriate. And I will come to you guys again later on in the week with a new um, video. It's going to be a bird cage. I've got to um, look around, see what we can find. I'm going to bring you something new and exciting. So everyone has a beautiful rest of your afternoon. It's Tuesday, you so. Go out to the ribbon. Oh, let's go to the ribbon real quick, guys, because uh, someone was asking about the ribbon. Diana, what's her name, Diana? Mm -hmm. She just asked again. Oh, yeah. Don't trip over this stupid filing cabinet. I asked for one filing cabinet, people, and they sent me 14. I don't know what I'm going to be filing up in here, but LaDonna's picture. Let's see. You're doing the birdcage on Friday? Mm-hmm. Birdcage on Friday. So, guys, it's already been marked to 70% off, so it's closed out, but you, you can get it closed in and show them. We've got a lot of ribbon here, a big selection. So, a lot of you who were asking about the ribbon. So, I'm not exactly sure what of this ribbon we're going to be able to put on the online store because it is closed out, meaning that we um, don't have much of it, you know, we just have a couple rolls of each one left, so it's not going to be beneficial to you guys to put it online because there's only going to be like one or two rolls left, it's not going to have a lot to choose from. But if you come in store, we do have several different options, a wide variety to choose from in store. And on this side as well, there's lots of patterns also. Some bumblebees. Mm -hmm. And this ribbon that we have, guys, is all wired. So for those of you who are wondering, it's great to tie in those mesh wreaths. So a lot of you who are watching, if you use mesh, and this is great to incorporate with that. Um, it's also great to incorporate with your spring wreaths and designs and your arrangements. So these are all patterns, but we have some solids over here I'll show you in just a second. Diana says she'll be here tomorrow. Okay, girl. And then over here we have all these solids and some polka dots. And we can show them here how we use it in the wreaths. So see guys, you can incorporate that ribbon in your wreaths. So like, see we have some solids here using these wreaths. And um, so we have green in this one. We've got the bow on this one. So it's great to incorporate in several different um, projects, whether it be mesh, whether it be grapevine, whether it be um, mesh garlands, anything. You can definitely incorporate it in all kinds of stuff. 
All right, guys, so I hope uh, we answered all of your questions today. Any questions that we didn't get to or any questions you've yet to ask, still leave those down below with your name, where you're watching from. We'll go back, read each and every comment, answer all of your messages and questions. Um, so please don't... Uh, right work I don't know but still leave those questions down below and guys please share this video so we get that out and we will uh, you know invite more people into this video and uh, we hope everyone has a great day and we will see you next time